Hi everyone, this is Bernard Bertrand, photographer, director and Lumix ambassador. Today on this GH6 Tips and Tricks, I'm going to talk about all intra and long gop. As you will see that the brand new Lumix GH6 is packed with all kinds of recording flavors. And not only you will find many all intra and long GOP recording settings, you will this time also get some stunning Apple ProRes internal recording. But this will be for another video. Okay, so what's the difference between all intra and long GOP? First, keep in mind that depending on the model and the camera brand, the long GOP that we have could also be called IPB. At the end, we are talking about interframe in opposition to all intra, that is obviously intraframe. It all comes to the compression and the idea of keeping the most of the image quality, but at the same time trying to compress the file as much as possible in order to produce a fairly light file at the end. And all this happened by the magic of the codec. And remember, codec stands for compression decompression. The codec will compress while recording and the codec will then have to decompress while reading and editing. The all intra intra frames recording will record high frame one after the other. That means that every single frame will keep a large amount of information, no matter the scene and subject that you are recording. Let's take this face camera image I'm currently recording now. There is not much happening. My face and hands are moving a bit. The GH6 next to me remains still. The background doesn't change at all. So only 20 or maybe 30% of the image change from one frame to the other. But still, if I'm recording this all intra, every single frame will still keep a decent amount of information. So now back on the long gop compression. The GOP stands for group of pictures. And once again, depending on the camera and the codec, that group of pictures can be short or long. And obviously, in our case, it is a long GOP, a long group of pictures. We have seen that all intra recording only capture iframe one after the other. For the long gop compression, it will also record iframe, but it will also record P frame and B frame. P stands for predictive and B for bidirectional. And I will not go too much in details here for not being too long. But predictive and bidirectional frames are frames that will be created by the compression algorithm. If I step into a long gop recording for the exact same face camera setup right here, the predictive and bidirectional codec will create frames that will for sure take in consideration that many, many pixels of this image remains exactly the same frame after frame. So instead of keeping the exact same pixel here and there, the exact same information frame after frame, as it remained the same in the background, the long GOP compression will consider recording an iframe that keeps most of the image information there and there. And in between, it will create P and B frames. And those frames will only record what actually is changing into the image. Basically, my face and my hands movement. On those specific frames, and once again, the sequence of those I, P, B frame will depend on the brand and the model of the camera. It could look like I, B, B, P, B, B, P, B, B, I. So in this case, this is a group of picture of 10. And by doing those long GOP compression, the camera will considerably reduce the size of the clip that you are recording. All intra recording will take three to four times the disk space on either your recording card or of course, on your computer hard drives shooting after shooting. So of course, one legitimate question will be about the image quality. And honestly, it is now really hard to tell the difference in between an all intra and a long gob clip as Panasonic Lumix really mastered the process for a long time now. I would advise you to choose in between all intra and long gop depending on your subject. If you are recording a complex scene with a lot of things happening in the image at the same time, like a scene with fire, water splashes, or basically any scene where many things is happening on every corner of the frame, frame after frame. In this case, I would probably advise you to go for all intra. This being said, Keep in mind that the codec will have to deal with that long group of picture when editing on your computer. 
So dealing with all intra files on your computer will make things much more easier for your computer CPU. This is so true that it is recommended sometimes to convert the long gob files into a proxy all intra file in order to edit smoothly on a weak CPU computer. So you will have to keep all this in consideration when choosing the recording format. And there is a lot of them inside the GH6. And once again, Lumix did things really well here, as you will be able to filter all those recording settings based on any of your preferences. Imagine that you want to see only the all intra recording format. It's really simple. Select the codec filter and select 42210i and there you are. So I hope I've not been too long on this one. That's it for now. Make sure to subscribe to see more about this brand new GH6. Thank you very much and see you next time.